Aviation is not simply about machines flying through the sky. It is the story of humanity's desire to overcome distance, time, and geography. Every aircraft represents a chapter of human ambition. Engineers testing limits, pilots trusting machines, and passengers placing their faith in innovation. Each airplane we see today carries decades of lessons behind it. Lessons learned from accidents, from bold experiments, from failures that forced redesigns, and from successes that reshaped the industry. Aviation is not a straight path forward. It is a journey of constant improvement. Among all the companies that shape this journey, one name appears again and again, Boeing. From narrow-body aircraft serving short routes to massive wide-body jets crossing oceans nonstop, Boeing airplanes have helped define how the modern world travels. In this video, we will explore some of Boeing's most influential aircraft in a simple, clear, and visual way. This is not a technical breakdown full of numbers and charts. Imagine everything being drawn slowly on a whiteboard. We will explain what these aircraft are, why they were built, and how they changed aviation forever. By the end of this video, you will not just recognize these airplanes, you will understand their purpose, their strengths, and their legacy. Boeing 757 the Unexpected Powerhouse The Boeing 757 is one of the most surprising aircraft Boeing has ever built. At first glance, it looks like a typical narrow-body airplane. It has a single aisle, two engines, and a relatively slim fuselage. Nothing about its appearance suggests that it would become legendary, but appearances can be misleading. The story of the 757 begins in the late 1970s and early 1980s. Airlines were searching for a replacement for older aircraft such as the Boeing 727. They wanted something more fuel-efficient, quieter, more reliable, and capable of flying longer distances with lower operating costs. Boeing set out to design a practical solution. What they delivered was far more capable than expected. The Boeing 757 is powered by powerful twin turbofan engines, most commonly the Pratt & Whitney PW2000 series, including the PW2037, PW2040, and Pratt & Whitney, or the Rolls-Royce RB211-535. These engines produce roughly 36,000 to over 43,000 pounds of thrust, which is exceptionally high for an aircraft of this size. On a whiteboard, you could draw the aircraft's slim body and then emphasize the engines, showing just how much power they produce relative to the fuselage. This power gives the 757 outstanding takeoff and climb performance. It can depart from shorter runways, operate efficiently from high-altitude airports, and perform well in hot climates where other aircraft struggle. Pilots quickly notice this. The 757 accelerates rapidly, climbs aggressively, and feels solid and responsive in flight. Over time, many pilots began calling it the Ferrari of the skies, but the true surprise was its range. Despite being a narrow-body aircraft, the 757 could fly long distances, including transatlantic routes. This allowed airlines to connect smaller cities directly across oceans, routes that could not support larger, wide-body jets. Even decades after its introduction, many 757s remain in service. No modern aircraft has perfectly replaced its unique blend of power, range, flexibility, and reliability. The 757 proved that size alone does not define capability. Boeing C-32, the aircraft of command and security. The Boeing C-32 shows how a commercial aircraft can evolve into something far more strategic. Built on the Boeing 757 platform, the C-32 is used by the United States government to transport senior officials. When the Vice President of the United States is on board, it carries the call sign Air Force Two. From the outside, the aircraft looks familiar, but step inside and the differences become clear. On a whiteboard, you could divide the cabin into zones. Some areas are designed for secure communication, others for meetings, planning, or rest. The aircraft is equipped with encrypted communication systems, military-grade navigation, and defensive countermeasures designed to operate in sensitive or hostile environments. The choice of the 757 platform was deliberate. It is reliable, powerful, capable of long-range flight, and able to operate from many airports around the world. The C-32 is not just transportation. It is a mobile command center in the sky, built on trusted engineering. Boeing 767, the bridge between old and new aviation. 
The Boeing 767 represents a major shift in aviation thinking. When it entered service in the early 1980s, long-haul travel was dominated by aircraft with three or four engines. At the time, many believed that two engines were not safe enough for long ocean crossings. The 767 challenged this belief. It became Boeing's first twin-engine wide-body aircraft. On a whiteboard, you could draw a wide fuselage with only two engines and compare it to older aircraft with three or four. The idea behind the 767 was efficiency. Fewer engines meant lower fuel burn, lower maintenance, and lower operating costs. Advances in engine reliability made this possible. These improvements led to the development of extended range twin engine operations performance standards, which allowed twin engine aircraft to safely fly long distances away from alternate airports. Airlines quickly saw the value of the 767. It was large enough for international routes, but small enough to be economical. It became popular for both passenger and cargo operations. Even today, the 767 remains in production for cargo and military tanker roles, a clear sign of how strong its original design was. Boeing 777, the giant that changed everything. The Boeing 777 is one of the most important aircraft ever built. Introduced in the 1990s, it became the largest twin-engine aircraft in the world. At the time, many doubted whether two engines could truly replace four on long-haul routes. The 777 proved they could. Designed using advanced computer modeling, the 777 was optimized before construction began. On a whiteboard, you could draw a massive aircraft with two enormous engines and long wings, then compare it to older four-engine jets. The Boeing 777 is famous for its massive, high-thrust engines. Earlier models used the Pratt & Whitney PW4000 and Rolls-Royce Trent 800, designed for better fuel efficiency and noise reduction. Today, the latest 777X features the even larger and more powerful GE9X engine. Boeing 777X – Evolution of a Success Story The Boeing 777X is an evolution of the original 777 concept. Boeing took everything that worked and pushed it further using modern technology. One of its most noticeable features is the folding wingtip. On a whiteboard, you could draw a long wing and then show the tip folding upward. This allows for longer, more efficient wings while still fitting at existing airport gates. The 777X represents Boeing's vision for the future of long-haul travel, larger, more efficient, and more advanced than ever before. Boeing 787 – Dreamliner – A New Philosophy The Boeing 787 Dreamliner represents a complete shift in aircraft design philosophy. Instead of focusing only on size, the aircraft uses advanced composite materials. Boeing focused on materials, efficiency, and passenger experience. The aircraft uses advanced composite materials, reducing weight and improving fuel efficiency. On a whiteboard, you could compare traditional aluminum construction with modern composites. One of the most important changes is the lower cabin altitude. Traditional aircraft cabins are pressurized to about 8,000 feet, but the 787 maintains a cabin altitude of around 6,000 feet. This improves passenger wellness by increasing oxygen absorption, reducing fatigue, headaches, dehydration, and helping reduce jet lag. 787-8, 787-9, and 787-10. One design, three roles. The Boeing 787 Dreamliner family is one of the clearest examples of how a single aircraft design can be adapted to serve very different needs in global aviation. Instead of creating completely separate airplanes for different markets, Boeing chose a smarter approach. Build one advanced platform and then stretch, optimize, and fine-tune it to meet different airline demands. The result is the 787 family, three main variants that look similar from the outside but play very different roles in airline networks. These aircraft are the 787-8, 787-9, and 787-10. Together, they demonstrate how modern aircraft design balances range, capacity, efficiency, and flexibility. On a whiteboard, you could draw one basic aircraft shape and then stretch it slightly to create three versions. Each version keeps the same core technology, materials, and philosophy, but each serves a different mission. Let us explore them one by one. Boeing 787-8, the long-range pathfinder. The Boeing 787-8 is the original Dreamliner. It was the first version to enter service and the aircraft that introduced the world to Boeing's new way of thinking. 
The primary role of the 787-8 is to serve long, thin routes. These are routes where the distance is very long, but passenger demand is relatively low. Before the 787-8, airlines often struggled to operate such routes profitably. They either had to use large, wide-body aircraft with too many empty seats or force passengers to connect through major hubs. The 787-8 changed this completely. With its long range and lower fuel consumption, airlines could fly non-stop between smaller cities that were previously impossible to connect directly. On a whiteboard, you could draw two distant cities that were once connected through a major hub and then draw a direct line between them using the 787-8. This aircraft typically carries fewer passengers than its larger siblings, but it makes up for that with exceptional range and efficiency. It allows airlines to test new routes with lower financial risk. If a route succeeds, airlines can later upgrade to a larger aircraft. If it does not, the losses are limited. The 787-8 played a key role in changing global route networks. It helped move aviation away from the traditional hub-and-spoke model toward more point-to-point -point travel. Passengers benefited by reaching their destinations faster, without long layovers or unnecessary connections. From a passenger perspective, the 787-8 also introduced the Dreamliner experience. Larger windows, quieter cabins, improved air quality, and a more comfortable long-haul journey. For many travelers, this aircraft became their first experience of what a next-generation airplane could feel like. In many ways, the 787-8 is the pioneer of the family. It opened doors, tested new ideas, and proved that Boeing's vision for the Dreamliner was not just ambitious, but practical. Boeing 787-9, the perfect balance. If the 787-8 is the pioneer, the 787-9 is often considered the most balanced and versatile member of the Dreamliner family. The 787-9 is slightly longer than the 787-8, allowing it to carry more passengers while still maintaining excellent range. This balance makes it incredibly attractive to airlines. It is large enough to serve major international routes, but efficient enough to operate routes with moderate demand. On a whiteboard, you could draw the 787-8 and then extend the fuselage slightly to create the 787-9. That small stretch represents a significant improvement in revenue potential without sacrificing efficiency. Many airlines consider the 787-9 to be the sweet spot of the Dreamliner lineup. It can fly long-haul routes across oceans and continents while offering strong economics. Airlines can carry more passengers, spread costs across more seats, and still enjoy the fuel savings and reliability of the Dreamliner design. The 787-9 is also extremely flexible. It can operate ultra-long-haul flights one day, and high-demand regional long-haul routes the next. This flexibility is especially valuable in a changing aviation market, where demand can shift quickly due to economic conditions, seasonal travel patterns, or global events. For passengers, the 787-9 offers the same comfort improvements as other Dreamliners, but often with slightly more spacious cabin layouts, where comfort, efficiency, and reliability all matter. Because of this versatility, the 787-9 has become one of the most popular wide-body aircraft in the world. It represents a perfect compromise between range and capacity, making it a cornerstone of many modern airline fleets. Boeing 787-10 The Capacity Specialist The Boeing 787-10 is the largest member of the Dreamliner family and its mission is very clear – capacity. While the 787-8 and 787-9 focus heavily on range, the 787-10 is designed for high-demand routes where airlines want to carry as many passengers as possible while maintaining low operating costs. It is optimized for routes that do not require extreme range but do require high seating capacity. The 787-10 typically carries approximately 330 to 370 passengers in a twin-aisle configuration, depending on airline layout. Its range is around 6,300 to 6,400 nautical miles. Range, 7,400.5 miles. Top speed, 691 miles per hour. Engine types, General Electric Genex, Rolls-Royce Trent, 1,000 wingspan, 197 feet 0 inches. Cruise speed, 561 miles per hour. First flight, March 31st, 2017. On a whiteboard, you could draw the 787-9 and then stretch it even further to create the 787-10. That extra length translates directly into more seats and lower cost per passenger. 
The key advantage of the 787-10 is economics. By carrying more passengers on a single flight, airlines can reduce the cost per seat. This makes the aircraft ideal for busy international routes between major cities, where demand is strong and consistent. In many ways, the 787-10 fills the space between traditional mid-sized wide-body aircraft and larger long-haul jets. It allows airlines to replace older, less efficient aircraft with a modern design that uses less fuel, requires less maintenance, and offers a better passenger experience. For passengers, the 787-10 delivers the same Dreamliner comfort, but often with more seating options and modern cabin designs. Airlines frequently use it on high-profile routes where efficiency and customer satisfaction both matter. The 787-10 shows that the Dreamliner family is not just about long distance, it is also about smart capacity management. Each Boeing aircraft tells a story of innovation and adaptation. From the powerful 757 to the revolutionary Dreamliner, these airplanes reflect aviation's constant evolution. If you enjoyed this explanation, support the channel by liking and subscribing. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next flight.